many people have listened to your teachings? Well, if you include the last 2,000 years of my life, obviously there's been many billions of people that have listened to my teachings. However, if you include this life on earth and how many people on earth currently listen to my teachings, there's probably a few hundred thousand people that have listened to my teachings. I know that we've produced around 100,000 videos. I know that there's been about 500,000 views of our videos on YouTube. Uh, I know there are around about, at the moment, around 1,300 regular subscribers to our YouTube channel. Um, so, you know, and I know that I've personally spoken to probably around 20,000 people over the last 10 years. So that's how many people have actually listened to the teachings that I've presented on earth in this life. Yeah, yeah when I say there's 100,000 videos, I mean there's a, we've, we've given away 100,000 DVDs. And so, no, not all of different videos. <laughs> But, you know, there's obviously a significant amount of people in that regard who have heard of the divine truth. If you, if you look at uh, maybe what's happened in the media recently, then, then possibly there's millions of people that have heard of this guy who's in Australia, who's Alan John Miller, who claims to be Jesus, right? But uh, the majority of people don't actually listen to me. The majority of people, in fact, uh, spend most of their time trying to criticise me rather than listening to me. So I, wouldn't, I would say that the majority of the 1,300 subscribers to our YouTube channel fall into that category where they're very critical of you know, pretty much everything I say. Because they want to be. As I said, they don't want to accept that I'm Jesus. And they don't even have to accept I'm Jesus. They just don't want to accept what I'm saying, let alone that I'm Jesus. And as a result, they feel very critical. The majority of people who have listened to us in the past don't listen to us now for the same reason. Sooner or later, I say something to them personally or collectively that either challenges them or, or causes them to become afraid of something internally. Usually it's afraid of public opinion or some other kind of fear that they have. It triggers their internal fears. And as a result of that, most of the people don't want to listen after that point. Most people on the planet are only used to listening to somebody who they can agree with. They're only used to listening to somebody who makes them feel good. And I don't do any of those things generally, so the majority of people find me very difficult to listen to for extended periods of time. The majority of people who are listening to me still don't understand what I'm saying either. They think they understand what I'm saying and they try to apply it from an intellectual perspective but they have very little understanding from a soul perspective of what's being said and they don't understand how to release emotion in order to understand. So the reality is that while many hundreds of thousands of people may have heard the message of divine truth this time round on earth at this point in time, uh, very few people actually understand it or actually are engaging it as I engage it. And you mentioned a lot of big numbers about the numbers of DVDs that we've copied and given away and mm -hmm. the, the numbers of views on YouTube and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, is this a static number? Are there, are there the same group of people still listening now as were listening 10 years ago? Are no. there a growing number, a reducing number? Or well, like everything divine truth, it's a slowly growing number. Now, the reason why it's slowly growing is because most people are very, very um, against receiving truth. Most people are challenged on so many levels when they hear any truth that it takes them a long time before they accept any new truth. Because of that... Um, you know, most people who listen to divine truth, who listen to what we teach, eventually leave it because sooner or later it challenges them on some level. However, there is this other quality that exists within the human soul and that is everyone at some point likes hearing the truth, no matter how bad it, <laughs> no matter how bad it is when you first hear it. And as a result of that, there is a slowly growing number of people who want to listen to divine truth. Now, I believe that at some point in the future that 
growth will be more rapid. However, I don't expect it to be more rapid because I know how difficult it is for people to hear things that they've never conceived of before and that challenges all of their belief systems and challenges all of their relationships and challenges their very life and how they live their life. So I understand that hearing the divine truth is going to be very, very difficult for the majority of people initially. But I do also believe that there are many people on earth who want to hear truth at some level. It just depends on whether that level is high enough to exceed the fear they're in. For the majority of people at the moment, the fear takes precedence over their desire for truth. In the future, I'm hopeful that the fear will reduce through their experience of their own fear, and as a result, the desire for truth will be greater than their own fear, and then, of course, more people will listen. And would you say that um, more people have listened and left than have listened and stayed? Certainly. There'd be at least 20 times more people who have listened and left than listened who st than st and stayed. In fact, the majority of those people who listen and leave haven't listened for any longer than two hours. In fact, I would say the majority of them haven't listened for any longer than 15 minutes. And the reason why is because within the first 15 minutes of talking to me, most people were severely challenged. And as a result, they don't want to hear any more. Mm. So, um, and, that, that, and that, of course, includes the people who, as soon as I say I'm Jesus, are severely challenged. And the majority of people fall into that category, even yourself when you first heard, right? So, so the majority of people fall into the category where as soon as they hear that I'm saying that I'm Jesus, they automatically do not want to listen to any more. Now, in the majority of DVDs that I speak, that happens within the first 15 to 20 minutes of the conversation, particularly if they're listening to the secrets of the universe or an overview of divine truth. And for that reason, the majority of people who listen to the, for the first 15, 20 minutes, and then as soon as I say that, their fear comes up, their fear of cults or their fear of me or their fear of what other people will think of them or their fear of all sorts of things, most of which they don't even understand, comes into them and then they get angry or they get you know, upset or belittling or whatever and they don't listen anymore. That's the reality of the presentations I give. So these people who accuse me in the media and otherwise of saying that I'm Jesus in order to get followers have no understanding of reality. The reality is when I say I'm Jesus, the majority of people who would normally be willing to listen to me don't listen to me anymore. That's the reality. Mm.